getting old is not a nice thing, but it's made better. I've been in a place like this. I'm Margaret Joan Webster. I shall be 95 in a few months' time. Derek Tracy Benham, and uh, I'm 90. Theo is my husband of getting on for 60 years. Very fortunate in that Theo's been here for almost two years and he's been wonderfully cared for with advanced vascular dementia. My name is Ernest Frederick Fryer. I'm at 93. Well, I'm 101 and a half. I'll be 102 in August. My full name is Violet Lynn Louise Butler. I couldn't go to a better place anywhere. I and myself and my daughter call it the Five Star Hotel. Oh, this is wonderful. This is just excellent here. And he loves it. It's unique and I think all our family feel that the staff here are part of our extended family. It's given him his independence, dignity. He's very, very happy here. All the friends and relatives that I've brought from the wider family have come in and said, we've never been anywhere like this. And all around me, there's light, there's music, there's movement, there's people. And I've been on my own in a hospital bed. And it was, you know, like this on the first time in the pictures or something. The latter part of the Battle of the Atlantic. And then, then when the German War finished, we had to go out for the Japanese war. I was called up in May of 42. I was posted from my first training to Honiton. He was in the National Service in Malaya, had quite an active time there, escorting convoys through the jungle. The war ended in North Africa. We went on training in the desert and then over to Italy. And I was posted and I didn't know where, and somebody said Bletchley. And I said, well, where's that? Buckinghamshire. Mm -hmm. We came up to Italy with a very nasty do at Casino. And we have a lot of entertainment here. Well, I can do anything, really. That's the pleasure of it. I can watch the telly if I want to, or I can see a show and sing with the people who come along and they make it jolly again because they're all dancing. I'm not bored a bit. I mean, I go every day I come up here to physio. Anyway, I get on a bicycle and bike and then I do a kind of up-down business, you know, to keep my knees going. Theo's always loved music, so the people who come and play the piano or sing have added a lot to the enjoyment. And one of the lovely things about that is that residents and relatives can share it together. So you're doing a, a communal joint thing and it, that feels very homely. I found a singing voice since I've been here. There's always something going on. They're always a, a, arranging some music or something for you, keep you happy. You only have to come here and see people's faces here and what's going on, the entertainment, you know, there's so much for them. And there's something different for everybody. It doesn't matter what your interests are, that you'll find something that you will enjoy and like. The care, which is what it's there all the time. They're very good here. The staff is wonderful and they're so friendly focusing on the residents' well-being, um, first of all, more than practical tasks and things that have got to be done, which obviously have to be done, but that sense of focus of the person and going with their feelings means that there's so much positive energy in that wing. The nursing care is very, very good here. This is a perfect place for him and every, every need he has is addressed. You know, there's so much joy in it, really. And that's because the staff give of themselves so completely. It isn't a job for them, it's a way of life. But we know that 
things are as good as they possibly can be because he's getting top class care and more than that he's, he's getting love and recognition all the time. So I think the quality of life here is largely because of that kind of generous spirit of everybody who works here and the whole ethos of the place and the sense of um, respect and valuing um, people for the contributions they've made earlier on to the world and society and our country. It's not a glum place at all always. It's uh, really a very nice, cosy, ho hosey place. We just thank our lucky stars every day. Theo's got the best. We think he deserves it too.